Yep. Uh -huh. Congratulations, Microsoft. You did it. You're somehow better than Sony. Would you believe this intro is already seven years old? <laughs> Does everyone remember a time when Rare did more than just pirates? Or sports games? We do. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, ladies and gentlemen, um, we are going to be going through the Rare replay, but not exactly just that, because we're only here for one very specific reason, as you can no doubt tell by the title. Yeah. But I figure I'll share this anyway, just because this is our, technically our first time using <laughs> Rare Replay at all. Well, and not, to mention, there is still, not to mention, there is still one other game that I would like us to try with the Rare Replay at some point later. But, uh, but, but that'll be, you know, we'll cross the bridge when we get to it, but, uh... Guarantee! Yeah, I would say this is probably one of the, uh, one of the silliest and most and probably one of my favorite stylized uh, collections one that i wish they would release on pc already uh yeah. of uh, games released for the for the whole bunch of family did you oh, oh my, my it's the shitter you know i was getting puppeteer vibes until that fucking sprite art showed up <laughs> jesse i yeah, know like i'll still say to this day like save for a few for lack of a better word, catches. This is still one of the best collections to come out in the past 20 years. Yeah, I'd, I'd have to agree. Look at how much personality it's got. In terms of how it was handled, anyway, like, I could say at least half of the game, the, the, the roster isn't exactly, like, high-tier quality, but uh, the Rare Replay for Xbox One, as I'm playing on the Series S, is still pretty solid, and for a pretty decent price, too. Well, I, if I could rewind a bit, um, I feel like the reason why you would say that about the selection of games is that, like, not for nothing, like, outside of the Banjo series and Conquer and maybe, like, one or two other outliers, I'd be lying if I said, like, the large entirety of Rare's library is, like, particularly noteworthy. Right, a lot of it is, like, super simple, like, 8-bit, or 8-bit affairs, like, uh, Slalom here, which, fun fact, was originally so, uh, a uh, game that was, um, a, a part of uh, Nintendo's whole lineup of sports titles, oh. but I guess Rare still had the rights to their Slalom game, and, well, it somehow ended up here instead. You said mm. Slalom. Slalom. Is that one game Silly showed us, the, uh, the anticipation on here? Uh, temptation? Anticipation? Oh, Anticipation, uh, my bad. Anticipation is not on this collection, no. Oh, well. But it does have Battletoads. Hey, it is Battletoads. Man, look at all these crazy casts of characters. And the best Battletoads, don't fight me. Agreed, I agree, I agree. Uh, Killer Instinct Gold. Is I that the one because... where the frog goes cosmically cosmic? Different one, different one. Not quite. <laughs> and then we got Blast Core, we got Banjo. The best Baron Bird duo. Of course. We got Banjo, we already did. Jeff Force Gemini, I'm still kind of interested in. Not sure it's how that. Interesting, if nothing else. And then there's Perfect Dark, which was pretty much just Rare's. With Soul. Original. Basically, let's take GoldenEye and make it an original IP. Which, hey, you know, maybe that remake will be made one day. If it's still being made. Well, but anyway, hey. there's also Tui, which we did. And here we are, the man of the hour, Conquer. How's it going, everybody? I thought you were going to say grab by the ghoulies. I'm out of here. I believe this is the last game they ever developed for the N64, and, uh... It was. It was literally one of the last games developed for the N64. And, uh... I mean, I'll give them credit where it's due. However poorly it may have sold, it left its, it's left its impact on the industry. Oh, it's weird. It's more, it's more than obtained a cult following, just because of just how... What? Like, and not even, like, a bad, like, what? It was just, like... <laughs> Hold it, James. Yeah, no. You need to explain to them why this was such a big thing in the day. I'm sorry, but my dad bought a copy of this game, and he still refused to let me play it. So I can't be here right now. You know, you know very good on him, because this is a game that's not meant for the kid, the you know little goody-two-shoot kids that were um, a major part of Rare's, um, for lack of a better word, demographic. This is a cartoony Rare platformer for the grown-ups. Yeah. Yep. It was like it, it was like even before the whole oversaturation of the mascot platformer. I want to say Rare with this game was already looking at that trend of plucky, cute mascot platformers, and then pissing on it, taking a big old dump on it. Which is really funny, like considering the origins of Conquer, like he used to be like the stark opposite of this. Like he he was a lot more like running the mill kitty. Oh Kazooie, oh, Kazooie. why like, is he, was, he a, a, an umbrella now? Hey, hey, Angel. <laughs> Same reason why Banjo's up there on that uh, trophy stand over there. Mounted. Okay, I already hate this game. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he yelled his last gorge. Oh. Man, this is their punishment for entering Smash Bros. He gut his last ha. Yeah, uh -huh. I gotta take a leak. 
Okay, so no, getting on to getting on to serious stuff here now. So James, what is your past? What is your history with this particular uh, iteration of the platformer? This game was released right around the time where I was very much a big fan of Rare's work, namely the likes of Donkey Kong and uh, uh, Banjo Kazooie. Uh, you, you know, you know, they were actually still making games for Donkey Kong. Uh -huh. So at one point, I know this game was actually advertised very briefly on Nintendo Power. I was already familiar with Conquer due to Diddy Kong Racing, and I was like, I want to play this. Though that being said, my mom did give me. Did, I mean. Let's just say that she made me swear an oath to be to you know know what I'm getting myself into. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Beyond that, she let me play this game. Okay. Which, you know, considering she was already the kind of mom who uh, watched a whole bunch of other adulterated stuff like South Park. I mean, at least she gave me she gave me the uh, you know the headway that yeah no this is not a game for kids. Take that into account, please, and don't you know what's the word? Viewer discretion is advised. Exactly. That's exactly it. Please don't tell the other people I'm a bad parent. <laughs> <laughs> Discreet. Don't tell me I'm a bad uncle. Nah. So yeah, this is Conker, and this is his story. Well, there I am. Conker the king. King of all the land. Who the fuck that? But how did I come to this, I hear you say? And who are those strange fellows that surround my throne? I hear you also say. Well, it's a long story. Come closer, and I'll tell you. It all started yesterday. And what a day that was. It's what I call a bad birdie. Ba, 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 ba. If everyone here likes non sequiturs, uh. stay tuned for a wild ride. It all began on one fateful <laughs> evening. <laughs> In the house of furry bait. Where his uh, chickmunk girlfriend here, Barry, was just doing her usual exercises. Hey, Lola Bunny, I mean Barry. Are you sure that's a chipmunk? I think she's supposed to be a chipmunk because, uh, no, she has no tail. No bushy tail. Could be a rabbit. The squirrel, the, the squirrel, as we all know, has big bushy tails. Oh, yeah. Yes, that is the only reason we're paying attention to that part of her body, to observe she has no tail. I mean, let's be honest, she was abs- I mean, this was basically meant to be their Lola Bunny, almost, uh, again, making Remember, fun of this Which is kind of funny, considering, you know, the origins behind Conquer, like, Conquer's Bad Fur Day, before it became Conquer's Bad Fur Day. Right, that that was something of- Which, by the way, can you tell- regal us the tale <laughs> of, uh, Conquer, and how he got to this point? There are 12 tales, but I can only recount one, as far as I'm aware. Because, yes, this was originally going to be another cutesy 3D platformer a la Banjo-Kazooie. Maybe even more so cutesy. Uh -huh. But, uh, because by this point, even within Rare, it was there was already sort of a hint of saturation in the market. So, people sort of gave Conquer shit for that. And so, the main developers of the game, namely Chris Sever, who is also the voice of Conquer here, and like a good 75% of the rest of the cast, uh, they said, screw it, let's go the adulterated route. And then Miyamoto was like, oh no, 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 you can't push that on my platform, this is my baby console. Well, it, it's funny you say that, considering they did still put it, let it, allow it on the Institute board anyway, but, one, they would do very little advertising, if no advertising for it, and two, right. Rare would have to be the ones to publish it themselves. Which is right. funny, because, if I remember correctly, Conquer's Bad Fur Day got, like, an entire, like, bar booth at Space World 2001. Really? Yeah, complete with, like, exclusive mugs, like, wow. It was kind of like a Hooters-esque setup. Uh, yeah, I was like, props to them for believing this project so much. And uh, yeah, you're right there, Conker. Oh! He's had too much to drink. Blech. Sorry, my dear chap. For mature audiences only. <laughs> Sorry, man. I'm I'm too drunk right now. And I'm sure he's not going to get cursed for life for that one. So let's go ahead and get one little thing regarding Conker out of the way real right and real quick. I know a lot of people tend to, tend to get, call him like the big foul-mouthed you know, red squirrel type amongst the video game, you know, landscape. But when you, re but in actuality, he does have his, uh, his more unsavory opinions for sure. But he usually is, he's more of like that nice chap who can easily be pushed to his limit if, you know, they keep giving him shit. Like, I feel like the best 
Like, I feel like the best comparison I can make is, like, like imagine a slightly more cynical Rocco. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, I, I feel like Conker's the guy where, like, at the end of the day, he just wants to go home and just kind of, Is he kind of selfish? Well, more so, like, he just wants to look out for himself and the people he cares about. He doesn't want to get mixed. He's not, he's not the altruistic platformer like Banjo who will, you know, take time out of his day to help any old kind soul well, out. Conker. it is funny you say that, though, because that is something Conker does regularly do. Like, sometimes, like, he will be, you know, nice enough to give him, help him out, but usually not without incentive. Oh, he's like, oh, he'll begrudge you, like, okay, what's in it for me? But otherwise, he does He does try to be the polite type, unless, you know, given an excuse to do otherwise. Anyway, uh, aside from Conquer, we also have the Panther King here. I'm sorry, what's that missing cow sticker say on the bottle of milk? Is like, fresh and white? Well, he does enjoy his milk. I was about to say, yeah, no, he sure loves his calcium intake. The table, on the other hand, does not. Da, da, da. Can't stands it no more. It can't stand! Literally. Well... Whose fault is that? This was not my fault. This was not built to code. And unfortunately, uh, ever, uh, angry as ever. Ever, ever. Yeah, when things don't go his way, he goes primal. And he's got milk breath. He is one freaking piss baby. <laughs> and so the next morning. The next morning. Wakey uh, wakey. Uh, also, don't mind the little jittering on the grass there. Uh, as, as remember, we're playing on replay, replay, so some weird inconsistencies may happen. It basically works like an emulator of sorts, but not a bad one. Oh yeah, no, like this is actually one of the the like out of the later half, latter half of this game's uh, entire live like this collection's library. This is like one of the rare few that actually is built into the collection itself. Ah! The rest oh. you are pretty much just glorified. <laughs> the rest are just glorified. Yeah, fag off, bros. But um, yeah. We start the game off literally in a hangover. Oh, yeah, no, sorry. To complete that thought, it's like, basically when you buy the Rare Replay, it treats it more like you're purchasing a bundle on the on the storefront. And, like, it just gives you access to download uh, all of these... Uh, oh, oh, boy. Oh, oh good, he has war wings. Oh, yeah, he's safe. He's still swimming in his, uh, in his uh, hungover stupor. Yeah, that would have sobered me up right quick, tossed me in the cold water like that. Uh, but don't worry... I think I have found just the individual with the solution to our inebriation. I do gotta say, though, considering this is running off of N64 hardware, this is probably, like, the... This is honestly got, like, one of the best-looking N64 games on the market. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. You know, for 2001, this is, like, an early GameCube title. I mean, like, that is something that Rare was known for, like, for better or worse. They they knew how to push the N64 to its limits. And Straight did up. the N64 ever remind you of that? Because, oh, woof, the frame rate on this game on the uh, original N64 hardware, yikes. Well, not to mention, even what we're hearing right now, like... Hearing this many, like, trust me, we haven't even we haven't even hit the tip of the iceberg. The amount of voice lines in this game, and yet it still all fits on that cartridge, typically, and can handle itself well. Like without the expansion pack, mind you. Right. Birdie. Whereas DK64, a game with less voice acting and you know, general lower poly counts, um, needed the expansion pack to work for some reason. That was because of a uh, memory leak issue that game had. Oh, it was it really where it has no such thing. Yeah, it was primarily a memory leak. Hmm. All right, so what do we do with this little thingy? What do we do with this big guy? You see those buttons? Buttons. Buttons. <laughs> what? You know, I would never. I wouldn't pick any other type of weirdo to give me a tutorial like this. Oh. You know, wake up one morning in a cow patch, get talked to by a scarecrow, and given a tutorial. Yeah. So I'll say right now that like this is actually one of my favorite mechanics from Conquer's Bad Fur Day. If we're gonna start talking about like the game itself and the gameplay, I love the idea of this where it's like they don't have to worry about oh my gosh like. All, all these different buttons and mechanics. Just the B button. It's your grand old utility button. To, uh, hi. Do oh, joy, a grand old B button. Do, 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 do. Asshole, that was ours. You owe us like three pounds and 50p. What does that mean? It means I don't know. Context. Something British, I suppose. It's sensitive to context. <laughs> uh -huh. So basically, yeah, depending on if you find a B button in any given particular part of the world map, press it, and something magical could happen at that exact point in time, depending on the exact context. Like, for example, if we do it again right on here, 
That's not a bottle. That's a... Oh. You know, complimentary for all cartoon characters. Ooh. Oh, shush. Get out of here. Actually, we do have one more thing on our person. Another beer! <laughs> uh -huh. Don't let him grab it again. Oh, now we're minus two beers. Man, you know what? I, I, it's a good thing Jordan's not here to join us, because Hector has seen better days. And that, <laughs> yeah. to sleep he goes. I will definitely it. say, before we before we leave Peter real quick, come on. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, no, but uh, before I leave real quick, I will definitely say in live room Loaded's credit, I think he does look better with the hat on. I think yeah. Here he just looks bald. Looks, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Just a basic <laughs> off. <laughs> nice. Exactly. Oh, no. Oh, no since, you, since you done spoke it up, uh, Doug, do you have any histories with this uh, little squirrel here? Self self uh, not too much uh, when I was growing up, because I didn't have the N64 or GameCube or anything like that back then. Back in the day, it was mostly the PS2 and the Nintendo DS for me. But I, uh -huh. I did somewhat grow up with Conquer on YouTube, mostly because of one individual that made Sonic and Jaws, and that's where oh, I knew okay, about yeah, Belina Banana Productions. Ba Banana Belina Productions. Yeah. Oh, Belina. Sorry, thank you. Oh, yeah. You know what? I remember that. I know exactly what you're talking about because he does a really decent Conquer impression. Yeah, he does a really good Conquer impression. But yeah, because yeah, because I, I think he's mentioned a handful of times that Conquer is one of his favorite games. Yeah, but yeah thanks to that there video, go, I've known go. I've known my history about Conquer, and uh, I've seen a couple of videos of this original game, and that's uh -huh. where I started to like Conquer that much. And yeah, I guess that's me for that one. I just like Conquer. It's, it's pretty fucking no hilarious. Uh, you guys uh, remember Young Conquer? Yeah, I do. And how that basically went nowhere. It really didn't. Like it was just like it was a proof of concept for this, this uh, connect thing. Yeah. Was it ever released? Nope. Right. And Conquer's Conquer's design look was just first off he, he, he ironically looked a lot older, if not uglier. He looked hideous. He looked like a scrat thingy from Ice Age. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like they definitely skinnied him up quite a bit in that game. Right. Well, uh, in, in terms of other things we can mention real quick, uh, some other fun things I can mention, is that the voice that you're hearing right now for Conquer is none other than Chris Shaver. Yep, uh, the, the exact same, like the, the pretty much the head of, the, of this game's development, as far as I'm aware anyway. Who did, uh, who, who did other such incredible voices that Hype should know, such as, he was Gruntilda. Right, I do remember us talking about that. He was also Peppy and Slippy that one time. Uh, uh, I don't, no, I... Peppy was someone else. No, he was Peppy. No, I'm pretty, I, I'm pretty sure it was Peppy. It's like, okay, it, you know what? Only, I think oh, I remember like it. He was Peppy in Adventures. Right, right. Hmm. And, a uh, switch. Well, let's give it a roll. Roll. I jump could come in handy. And it leads right through there. What do you think? Uh, I guess, James, uh, how do you feel about mm. his uh, typical uh, platform and repertoire? It's, uh... You know what? Let's save that for another time, because we have a friendly little gargoyle here we can talk to. Oh. This guy. Hello. If you think you're coming this way, you can think again. What? I'm your obligatory uh, brick wall. Blockade. You blockade, yeah. I don't think so. I've only just got comfy. Have you ever sat on a piece of gothic architecture for 200 years? Uh -huh. Nope. Gets right up your ass, you know. Thought it was about uh, I'd rather not think of it. I can only imagine. <laughs> I have a severe itch on my ass. Well, can I at least glide around you or something? Architecture. Hmm. If you care to come a bit closer, we can discuss things of another nature. Well, I don't know about you guys, but uh, do you think we can take him on? I don't think you can trust him. I think we can trust him. I think we can take him on. Come here, you. Come on, buddy. Oh. 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 Yeah, we couldn't take him on even if we wanted to. Oh. <laughs> Thank well, you. that could have gone better. Man, to, to see that Conquer bleeds ketchup. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thankfully, at that point, oh. in the point in time where we do not have to worry about a health bar just yet, this is only the tutorial, after all. Not yet. Which, uh... but if all, but if all that, but if all that that large will definitely be a lot more dangerous uh, later. Yeah. Incredibly. I will say, for conventional platformer standards, this is a very weird game. Yeah, because I mean, you do have a, you can jump, you can run around. I will say, to this game's detriment, it is a little on the loose side, especially compared to other rare games, which had means of uh, circumventing that. Yeah, he kind of looks a bit slippery whenever you're moving around. Let's just say that Conk in for Conker's Bad Fur Day, it's very simpler and to the point, but you have less room for error. 
Something uh, and you were saying it. you were saying something earlier, Doug, as well. Wait, what? Uh, I thought I heard you starting to say something as well earlier. If it, if it was involving with the gargoyle, I was just mainly saying, I have a severe itch in my ass. Yes, we must tend to that. And only Squofer can cure it. With an item that Conker just remembered. Yeah, and speaking of things we could pull out of our ass. A frying pan. The cartoon standard. Oop. Get back here. Yeah. Come here, you Unfortunately, s Conker can't swing that thing worth a damn. This would, they, this would thankfully be fixed and live reloaded, but unfortunately the frying pan would be very short-lived in that game. Yeah, they just got rid of it immediately. Nope. Which is, which is uh, I guess was supposed to be your first, uh, Conker, he's already dead. Which I guess was supposed to be your first, <laughs> which, which I guess was supposed to be your, your first clue that things weren't going to be quite one-to-one -one in live and reloaded. Which is funny, too, considering that all the, like, the big change-ups that they did for that game's plot was really just in this intro sequence! Whoops. Hi. Down you go. Well, you hey. already unlocked the key. E.T. post yeah, down. will be fine. <laughs> we'll be right back. But yeah, no, that, let, that, let that set as an example of how slippery this game can feel sometimes. It's slippery, and I guess in the neatest way possible, I could say that Conker sometimes controls like a tank. Like that, you like it, with very stiff. Like you have to be very, you have to be very, very precise with each of his uh, like platforming movement decisions. I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that, like, compared to something like Banjo, he's not really like f entirely focused on platforming as a game. But it's not necessarily the focus. Which is funny, considering there's still a decent amount of platforming to be done in this game. Anyway, you. Hi -ya! Oh. I just love to knock him dead with laughter. Yes! And that's what you get for laughing yourself stupid and on top of a bridge. I'm sure he'll survive that landing. Maybe. Nah, he's fine. Oh. Uh oh. Well, now no. we're definitely not going in there. Oh, shit, now what do we do? Son of a bitch! Well, that's fine, because yeah, because he absolutely would be known to say that. Well, do we have any context sensitivity, Red? Aha! Uh -huh. There's one over there. As a matter of fact, there is. Oh. Can we reach it? What does that do? There it is. It gives us a plunger. So yeah, assuming the situation calls for it, Conqueror will have exactly everything he needs, and then some. Blammo. Oh. Now that I think about it, that's like probably one of the best ways that they could play with cartoon logic and hammer space like that. Let's go and get some shut eye. Time to head home. Let's go home. Alright. At least that's the plan anyway. But uh, as the game's no doubt going to show us later, Let's just say that there's a lot of distractions along the way. There's no way home, Conker. And then there's this guy. This bastard. <laughs> He's a weasel without his legs. Yep. I pray that thing doesn't run out of battery. I never understood that thing dangling above his eyes. It's oh, it's a magnifying a... glass. It's a magnifying glass, oh. yeah. I thought it was just another eye. Nah, it's supposed to be like a telescope that he's looking through, but, but yes, I agree. When you see it, like, right next to his actual eye, it just kind of looks like a third eye. Hello <laughs> well, there. That's really weird. Professor. Professor Weasel. Welcome. A Weasley Professor so and a Panther King. They seem like the perfect kind of duo, don't see. they? Yeah. This is Grand Oop. Vizier, which I know has historically proven to never be an untrustworthy position. I don't know his legs. Uh, uh, actually, yeah. li Live and Reloaded actually does try to explain what happened to them. Well, even then, I think I think a line the Panther King's about to say more or less says, sets it in stone what could have happened. <sighs> it wasn't pretty. You shall see now, because we will come up with a solution and, uh... Yes? What happened? I threw of milk out the window. Oh, it well. Anywho. I don't want to have to get the duct tape out again. The duct tape. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you'll ever know about that incident. Think of how much of a criminal offense it must be if you try to throw out a milk carton even though it's already expired in front of him. Oh. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a one-sided relationship, unfortunately. <laughs> Look at him go. <laughs> I think what helps is just how fast-paced his dialogue is. Oh, and I, yeah. oh, and I love this bit here, right? Please say that. Please say that. I love that delivery so much. Okay. And so look, everybody, good. it's our 
It's our health. Anti-gravity chocolate. Chocolate! Huh, I guess I'll take it. Looks tasty enough. Delish. Delicious. From here on out, welcome to hell, James. With that. And I'll say right now, even though I'm not entirely familiar with a lot of the soundtrack for Conquer, that being said, this is probably one of my favorite songs in games. It's one of the more memorable tracks. It's such a fun it's very little John, there. composed by Grant Kirkhope himself. No. No. <laughs> no. It's not. I know. It's not. <laughs> I know they joked, they poked fun at that in Game Grumps, and I mean, to be fair, that was admittedly a funny <laughs> opening to that whole thing. Oh, she's okay. rich she and cute. I think that was like 10 years ago. But no, the uh, soundtrack was composed by Robin Beanland, yeah. who would also make, who would also do the uh, GBA uh, renditions of uh, Donkey Kong Countries 1 and 2, for whatever that's worth. Yeah. Oh. I mean, so he's okay. responsible for the pool party. Oh wait, no, that was Donkey Kong Country 3. Yeah, no, Donkey Kong Country 1 had the beach party where Donkey Kong just hung out at the beach, I think. I don't know. <laughs> uh, no, that was, that was 2. That was 2. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Alright, so... I guess while we're here, um, yeah, no, uh, I, we got our first mission. We need to help this uh, honey queen find her find her lost hive, which is located just on the other side of the naughty route. I thought we just wanted to go home. Yeah, but he's but she, apparently she said that she'd give us a prize or something. But uh, so I guess. Oh, that, we need cab fare. I maybe. So I do anything for money. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Shh, shh. Uh, borrowing, borrowing. Yeah, that's it, borrowing. <laughs> now run. Run, you fool. So now do not stop for any reason, because these guys are going to be on your tail. <laughs> so nice. long as you keep running, they will never get you. And stay on the path. And don't go up that hill, because you'll slow down and they'll sting your... Uh, but I guess while we're doing this, uh, we'll say that, uh, although it's made by Rare on the N64, Conquer is not exactly a collect-a-thon, like, you know, platformer game. It's actually more mission-based than it, so it's a, it's a very linear kind of game. Mm, nope. Yep. Yeah, granted, you do get, you do get something worth oh. collecting, but that's about all you really get. The hell is that? She's packing. The hive is packing heat! Who will go first? Uh, Target team. Boss, did we always know that was there? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, you can't say that. This game's for mature audiences only. Yeah, and I guess, and I guess this is the part where I have to say, yeah. Say the bleeped word properly. Hang on. Wait for it. Wait. Hold. Fire. And... Oh. Nope. <laughs> he bleeds honey. We zinged him. And with that, stay tuned because the game's only gonna get what? It's a steady deep downhill slope from here. Oh, yeah. like a perfect downward trajectory. To some degree, like there's plenty of high moments and plenty of downer moments. <laughs> oh boy, marital troubles. We might actually run into her uh, deadbeat uh, husband at some point or other, but in the meantime, have some cash. Do we have to? Yes. The Grand MacGuffin. Money. <laughs> like Power Stars, although way more viable in this economy. Oop. Yeah. Cash. Price. And there's more <laughs> where that came from, so uh, why don't we proceed? Oh, by the way, James, uh, I don't know if you can find it now, but can you find the unattainable anti-gravity chocolate? Unattainable? Well, didn't you already got some of it? Anti -grav no, I mean the one piece of chocolate that the designers put into the game that they deliberately lock you away from. And there's Why? no way to get uh, Why would they do such well, a thing? For, okay. To fuck with you! Oh boy. Oh, jeez. Oh. Ow? Oh. Oh, no, don't! <laughs> the good old dumb beetles who just fuck anyone's shit, assuming they get close enough for comfort. Ow! Oh boy. Oh, hello. Mr. Scarecrow Birdie. Hello, Birdie. I'm here for me, lot one last cameo. Today I'll buy me enough for this. Manual? Oh. Effectively, what he's describing is that sometimes with these context-sensitive buttons, sometimes the uh, mechanic is actually advanced enough that you'll need to le learn how to use it. That's your packs. Wait a minute. Are you sure you got the P and M in the correct spots? Is it now? Is it correct that like that's because of reference to like one of the direct one of the developers loves Pepsi Max for some reason? Yeah, that's what I've heard anyway. Also, it's a good thing we got that money earlier, cause uh, yeah, now we have, we paid paid ourselves for a manual. Oh, right, cause that's how this basically works. Is a uh... however, <laughs> this is the problem with having sentient money. But for some, it could be very much be a jackpot. <laughs> And you'd be right. Suits me. 
So, uh, yeah, effectively, they're power stars, and we're going to need them because effect eventually we'll, we'll come across, uh, again, blockades that you must, toll gates that you must pay to get past. Paywalls. Now, do we need every uh, wad of cash in this game, James? I believe we do, yes. Oh, boy. All right, I'll let me get a guide up, because I know there's some with, some are, you know, obvious and, like, right in front of you, like with the bee, bee queen, but some of them, they actually kind of cleverly hide in other places. Yeah. I want to ask, like, for bits like this where they have, like, because obviously this is a different controller than with the N64, did they, like, record new dialogue for to accommodate for this controller? Nope. Hmm. Thankfully, they didn't. They didn't do the sacrilegious thing in, that uh, 3D All Stars did for Mario Sunshine, where they just outright clip out the um, audio and just say. Or they just outright bleep it away. Press the button. Oh my god. I fucking hate that. It, it was. It was so off-putting in um, that port. But anyway, with with our lovable catapult, which was supposed to be his trademark weapon in uh, Twelve Tales. It's a slingshot. Well, that's what he calls it a catapult, and we'll call it. And we're it's not know. a catapult; it's a slingshot. Th that's what they refer. Maybe it's maybe it's like a British thing, like how a flashlight is a torch. Maybe. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to assume it's a UK thing because, as a reminder, like Rare is a UK company. Man, it's... I can't wait for them to dub this game from British to English. <laughs> yeah, <Whoops>. nice. <laughs> <laughs> Have yeah. I ever told you that story, by the way? No, wait. What happened? Okay, so. <laughs> Um, a couple oh, weeks ago, I was out to lunch with my dad and my little brother, and my little brother loves talking about, like, cartoons and, like, learning everything he can about them. Uh-huh. Um, so it got to the point where, I forget why, but he brought up how, like, cartoons were getting, like, dubs. So, like, he brought up, like, the children's show Peppa Pig, for example. <laughs> um... And I asked, well, wait, why would they have to dub that show uh, when it's already in English? Quick, Kiki. Hold that thought real quick. Yeah. So the game wants us to go this way. Yeah. I say nuts to that. Let's go down the poo section. Wait, what? Oh, God. Why well, are, are we going, going, why are we going the poo? Well, oh. oh. Oh, what a stink. Oh, my God. I think this calls for my gas mask. His iconic mm. gas mask. Well. That he only uses in this particular part of the uh, poo area for Look. whatever reason. Back at 10? Hmm. Wait. 10 o'clock. What time is it? Time it now. No. Uh, I guess we can't do that shit just yet. What time is it now? Not, not time enough. I find it weird that he had to take off his mask just for that one cutscene. I guess to better see it. Uh, hard to say, really. Again, that's like that whole entire section right there is the only place where he puts on the gas mask. Any other time, even if it's like all smelly and pooey, he doesn't wear it. I don't get that either. But as we leave the hub, <laughs> it's a gap. Really now. <laughs> All this, whatever budgeting went to the science division just to solve a table gap. I, wanna, I, wanna, I feel I'm, like there's some kind of like political demographic Republican joke to be made here. Or in in the UK's case, I guess like the Tories. Oh, and also uh, I could Teddy's very much be wrong, and I apologize if I am. Oh, yours is a doctor. That don't sound pleasant. So, pay no mind to those ulterior motives. Uh, we're heading on to the farmland. Look at that. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, so, welcome to uh, the farm. Should I continue with my... Uh, should I continue with my story? Yeah, I'm no. Just a, uh, it's just a moment. We got a smelly rat to uh, take care of. A smelly rat, rat? As opposed to a normal uh, rat? We can't get but in all seriousness, though, no, you go ahead with your story. Oh, oh well, first off, I want to get this guy... Heavy motherfucker. Unfortunately, the missus there is all. Like, rat. And won't. Uh, <laughs> She's literally being like the Minnie Mouse of the situation the moment she sees a mouse on the floor. Minnie Mouse seems like a weird comparison but considering. Minnie Mouse is a mouse. Yeah. You know what I'm referencing, right, I? I think I do. The Minnie Mouse of the situation. Anymore. Oh. There was like an old, like an old comic from like I don't know the fifties or sixties, where there was a literal like minuscule, realistic-looking rat just running around in Minnie's kitchen, and she's all like, "Eek, a mouse!" That I oh my gosh, I remember that. But they actually just, just stripped drew it in. How there. specious of them! Also, in a bit of advance, if I sound like slightly muffled here and there, that's because uh, my stepdad came in oh, here with oh. a bag of popcorn for me. <laughs> and, I was uh, hearing something crispy and crunchy. And uh, James wants to be careful because although yes, you have health, you can lose it very quickly in this game. Yeah, especially Anyways. with these, with these, you know, obvious blocks. 
farm open. He has a farm for cheese. And you can get for whatever reason. What is everything you try Anyways, the punchline is I asked why he said that the cartoon was getting dubbed into English yes. from Zari in English. Uh -huh. and he said, Oh no, no. They have to dub it and they have to dub it into English because it was originally originally in British. Oh, so essentially the Ape Escape basically the Apescape's <laughs> method of uh, English dubbing. Ah, uh, good times. <laughs> That uh, is something that I'll admit is a bit weird that they do that. Like, not even just with, like, Ape Escape and Peppa Pig. Just, like, any time they have, like, a US versus a UK dub where it's, like... I imagine, like, the script doesn't really get changed that much between the two, so what's the point? I think it can depend on, it, like, which, which, which culture they're... Ooh, Ooh. Nice. Oh. It, it, it can depend on, like, what sorts of jokes or references they make. Because, you know, a lot of them can very much be cultural. Right. Which is also a part of the reason why, you know, as much as we love them, Asterix is... There's a reason why Asterix is very niche in the uh, States. That's cool. No. no. Why can't we just smack this guy into the ravine? We tried hitting him, it didn't work. Yeah, like, like even now when he's all filled up, when he's filled up a little, like, he's not quite as agile as he was earlier. We yep. could kick him away when he dies from blood loss. I mean, oh, come on, you're not that wistful, well, buddy. So yeah, basically we just gotta keep feeding him until maybe if we feed him just enough, he'll finally go on his merry way and leave the missus alone. This is stupid. <laughs> it <laughs> I, is stupid. This particular quest, yes, I will is. agree, is a little bit time-consuming. I want to say the longer you go at this, like the blocks that keep popping up and down like that, like swamps, I want to say they change their, they get, I think they get faster. They definitely seem faster to me. You just slipped. Oh! oh. Yeah, they, they definitely seem to be moving a little bit faster and, uh, yeah. Just I, enough wiggle room. I guess that's the other thing to be careful about is, uh, in this game, there's like going to be one or two, I want to say there's at least three to four more times where they will use repetition a bit with these puzzles. Like, do this, okay, now do it two more nom, times nom, kind of nom. thing. And, well, manners. One more should just about do it. I'm sorry, good. we're not your we're not your personal DoorDash asshole. Well <laughs> you'll get what's coming to him, sure. You know what that's you saying that, you know what I'm suddenly reminded of, and I know this is probably something not many people actually bother to watch. Hmm. There's a there's an original oh. show on Disney Plus called Chippendale Park Life. And oh, one yeah. of the last episodes that was released for its first season, assuming it ever gets another one, yeah. is that they actually brought in Donald for after like so some duck. Ah, oh boy! Ow. Oof. Eesh. I'm okay. One chocolate oh. out of six. Well, he walks that off like a champ. Yeah. I mean, yeah, no, it was only one pip of chocolate, which I could easily recover. One pip yep, right here. But, uh, but yeah, so in Park Life, I keep, brought... I keep missing up my left triggers from my right. It's okay. So so, so they brought in Donald Duck for. Oh, park... and uh, I guess while we're still while we're still here, be mindful because uh, Conker's not about as weak need as Mario was back in his uh, olden days. He takes oh. fall damage. Oh. Not there, but but yes, there is fall damage. Uh, maybe if you jump, maybe you know what? Better idea. Yeah, maybe you jump from that rock right down to where the cheese is. Maybe that'll be enough. Should be. So, yeah, from... so I just go off like this. Bam! Ow. That's already enough to take fall damage. So uh... let's do it again. No, no. I'm grabbing. I'm grabbing me. I'm grabbing me some comfort chocolate Whoa. and then moving on. And then grabbing some comfort cheese to wash away the chocolate taste. I need my comfort anvil. Yeah. Now there is something that can happen if we do actually die, but who knows? Maybe James will uh, be pro enough to never show uh, us that cutscene. Oh, you know me. You know damn well I'm not going to be that lucky. I'll meet. I'll so, end up meeting up with you know who somewhere down the road. Oh yes, True. you will. Since you were just demonstrating that, quick platforming question. Can you be able to use, like, his little, like, helicopter tail thing as a way to, like, Nick, save yourself before no! you fall? And unfortunately, the cheese breaks apart and ugh, get off of me. Well, looks like we gotta get another cheese. All right, so let's go get another one. But, uh, uh, but yeah, no, so unfortunately, uh, Hype, the only time you can use the, uh, the only time you can, I want to say the only time you can use his tail, can you use his tail thing at any time or only after tail a high jump? Uh, only after a jump. Yes, yeah, so you can't. Drop. Like, let me put, let me put it to you guys this way. Yes, you can. You can use your tail to, uh, you know, give yourself a little bit of uh, to break your Gliding, momentum yeah. a bit and save yourself from getting taking fall damage. That though, that being said, that gets taken away from you after you fall a certain distance, where where Conker starts, you know, you know, falling like in circles, right. and uh, uh, you pretty much end up taking some massive hurt. Oh, uh oh. Speaking of massive hurt. I think this rat's going nuclear. This is why, fun fact, you should not actually feed mice cheese. They're lactose intolerant. Are they? No, I think I think it's more so a matter it blocks their innards. Oh. And that can happen. That can actually happen. And so, he's dead. Much like the seagull with Mentos and soda. <laughs> he blinked. He's okay still. 
That's, I guess, the other dark idea is that maybe if... Wow. Ew. Maybe like a cartoon, maybe they're all still alive and sentient and like, oh. can totally... I mean, unless they're affected by dip, I doubt they could feel any legitimate pain. There's something real neat inside that barn. Ooh, Just what barn? In there, sonny. One that we're upside. The very one we've been running around. Oh. So, uh, thank you. You're very kind. We can it's go. It's a good thing he squished down. Otherwise, we would never be able to climb up. We can continue forward into the barn. Well, be careful, because even on these on on this hay-infested uh, rooftop, you can easily accidentally slip off. Hey! Also, oh, money. over here... Oh, boy. There's there. that dizzying height factor again. Yeah, Conker suffers some real, from some really bad vertigo, if you can believe that. Yeah. No, it's more like every Rare game for the uh, N64, whenever they make a very vertical level, like Pterodactyl Land, for instance, uh -huh. I honestly get a little bit fearful of falling off. Yeah. And this, and, and this game will not help that at all. I'm gonna get tanked tonight. Nice. I almost but you got tanked last night. I'm gonna do it again. Might want to be careful of that conquer because oh, you can't on. take. Let's oh. check the. Let's check the time. You would not get this if you did not check the uh, sign at the uh, poo area first. Oh. I was about to ask. Huh. So, uh, lads, we have a choice. Do we want to go back to the poo lands or uh... go to the barn? Go to the yeah, barn. I feel like we should clear this. I feel like we should like you know wrap this whole place up. Alrighty. There's a cool thing inside that barn. We just gotta get in there deep. Let's go give it to But yeah, no, in instances like this, it, 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 so long as you can get a hover in, you'll at least not have to worry too much about fall damage, unless you're high enough. In which case, obviously, yeah, you will get hurt. I, I think I just realized something, by the way. What's that? Mm -hmm. What's up? That guy's name is Jack? You and know, Bert. the box that we got the fat-ass bitch off of? Yes. Oh yeah, just mention my name, Jack, and everything will be just dandy. He's the original Jack box. Um... <gasps> no, actually, no. Uh... That's the original Jackbox. Oh. Look at him go, hippity hop. Man, look how forceful <laughs> there he is. Thank you, Don. <laughs> There's gonna be plenty more where that came from. His shtick is wooden. Hello. Anyone in here? There's a bunch of hay. Salutations, fellow uh, stink stacks. They're hay hey there. Stacks. Hey, you. Hey, you over there. You. Huh? Which hey, one? You. That one. Apparently, there's something real neat inside this barn. I don't think that we did just um, just come in, come in uninvited. I don't think we don't. We don't ever come across any horses in this game. Never. This is so no horse shit. Uh oh. Why is that thing so deep, boys? Why it's oh. so tiny? It's uh, it, it, it's it's like the freaking uh, beagle boys. That this is it. Oh. And then there's these bozos. Let's see, we got Bill, we got Dale, we got Boomhauer. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I say we take turns. Yeah, Frankie, go kick his ass. Go, go, kick his ass. Oh, Frankie. So which one's Hank? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love that. I also love that delivery. Yeah, Frankie, just go there and kick his ass. Fuck's sake. Wait, just get to it. I'm a pain pot anyway. I'm a fucking pain pot. That line you always used to get me up in stitches when I was younger. Because he's pointing out the obvious. <laughs> what am I supposed yeah. to do? I'm a fucking pain pot. I'm a fucking pain pot. I mean, just the delivery in general. And to be fair, I was also a very immature child back then. Oh, that so means actually, it's like, that's, the, oh, he's, that shit's funny. he said a bad word. <laughs> Remember, it's for mature audiences only. They can't hurt us, James. What is this? Wow. But we also can't hurt them. Is that all we do? So, uh, yeah, why don't we go see what else we can touch around this barn? Uh, oh. Oh! Uh oh. Hello, Mr. Pitchfork. I'm guessing that one is Bill. The pink can is Dale. Oh. Therefore, I conclude that I was gonna kick your foot all around this barn the like a snow tomorrow. I was gonna stick my big foot right in you. <gasps> Are your parents related? Like before they were married? Just <laughs> yeah, <laughs> bluntly wow. say it. That's probably one of the worst things Conker's ever said to any given person, just up front. I'd run. That's just indignant. So be careful, because right away he uh, he he moves very swiftly to strike you when he gets close to you. Where is he? Oh, there he is. I mean, it's, he's, it's like he's the only one of the three that has a pair of legs. And can actually use him more than Dan. So basically now you're incentivized to literally use him as a means to take out the rest of the uh, other hay characters for whatever reason. Yep. Woo. And uh, I hate how their eyeballs have reds behind them. Oh, not only that, they also squish and explode like... Like eggs. Yeah. 
Nice. Uh, I'll go oh. for a two for one. I don't think. Yeah, he, I don't is think it possible to get more than one of them at a time? I'm not sure. I think it's possible. I believe it is. Go for a combo. I know. Oh, I tried. You were close. Whoop. <laughs> miss me, miss me. Now you gotta. Actually, not with that mouth. Never mind. Ugh. And it's like now you gotta. Wait, do you even have a mouth? I'm talking somehow, but it ain't no mouth as far as I'm aware. <laughs> you have the wrong number. <laughs> What happened to the discussion with the cheese? Jeez, come on. What happened to the discussion with the cheese? Oh, I thought, why did I think oh, chocolate. that was a good idea? Oh, chocolate. Oh, run. boy, chocolate in a, in a horse bar. At least you get free chocolate. Oh. There you go. He's, he's too much. He broke his spirit. And now he's too demotivated to keep going. You can ask my time. And that is the sh <laughs> crappiest, crappiest, this dick ass I've ever seen. I can just imagine him just looking through an entire dictionary of all the most vulgar profanities he could yell at him right now. Well, well, the Merriam Webster? Bastard, yes. Stupid bastard. <laughs> Isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, he sure is. So, what are you gonna do now? Kill yourself? Because that's what I reckon. Ooh. Uh, kill yourself. Really? We got a rope right here, and we got a rope. Yeah, we got Lord. A rope. Also, I mean, there's granted, a rope right there. We may have made a, made a jolly, you know, duck, like. Okay. Embarrassment of himself, but that's a little much. Yeah, that really is just Bill Dottery. Good lord. Well, so, uh, yeah. Here swings Frankie. But there seems to be a bit of a predicament with his uh, hanging <laughs> here. And this is pretty much what saved this entire freaking scene. <laughs> <laughs> like any other context, this would be really freaky dark, but here, it's a cartoon. I already said that. Shut up. Okay. I don't believe this. I don't appear to have a neck of any description. Actually, your body's all neck, if you can believe that. That's true. That's gonna be up here for some time. Yeah, unfortunately, because uh, we don't really have the means to help him out yet. Just yet. For now, we're gonna just have to, you know, pull the pull the uh, lever and get ourselves out of here. Woo! Also, someday I'll actually figure out a left from a right. And uh, oh, hello. There's that jackass. And goodbye. Oh, on the bees. Yep, that right there is the old king bee. He's pretty much gone on his merry way ever since ditching his uh, wife. I don't want anything to do with his business. Wait a minute. However, the hay monster. He's all alone now. So, my nemesis, he's Who, the pitchfork or all the other hay monsters? I'm thinking the pitchfork. Yes. My goodness, what have we done? It's me again. Yes. Oh, shit! What will you do? Time to wander around. Aimlessly. Okay. You know, I'm sure. I'm sure for so many species, that's considered some, uh, you know, uh, method of do asserting dominance. We gotta get the out of here. All right, uh, you have fun in there, I guess. Was this guy here before? Uh, no. I mean, again, we pushed him out the pushed him out the barn, the barn door. All right. What do you want? You know, in my own country, I'm a. Finally, a dog that isn't my own. Oh, really? Oh uh, yeah, my dogs do that sometimes. Bitch <laughs> threw me out. Apparently the hive keeps getting stolen. Well, I don't care. I couldn't fit in the thing anyway. You see how fat yeah, I mean, he is a bit bigger. You're one to talk. I'm reduced to the states of a bum. Well, yeah. I mean, I never heard of a king bee, so I guess in some ways it's just a lousy old title. Yeah. I ain't gonna tell you about the big breasted bear. The big breasted bear? The what? <laughs> the big what? what? The big whoop. She's lovely. I'm starting to notice how a lot of these characters have like very similar, like raspy voices. Again, yeah. most of them are the same guy. Really? Yes. Yeah, no, like a good 75% of it was Chris Sever just doing whatever voice he felt like. Huh. Also, a uh. Oh. Hang on a second. She's a sunflower. Like a big o -g -g zungas Holy. Wow. You know, they say, where is this going to sound? Yeah. And this is a, this is sort of like, consider it a scientific fact that uh, my friend Tara told me a long time ago. Uh -huh. Water is often seen as like a source of, source of giving life. So you can, so let's just imagine this. Water, you usually water your plants. I can imagine maybe that particular, oh uh, yeah. <laughs> He's so sweet. Oh my gosh. 
I and just... now, uh, when I, and when I was a kid, I had no idea what that meant. And now, twenty years later, <laughs> it means absolutely I now, nothing now. No, I now know what to suss someone is. <laughs> They're sussy. <laughs> Anywho, excuse me, miss. <laughs> Hello. Hey, uh, uh, can you help me out here? Unfortunately, she's the very... She likes to play hard to get. Maybe. Though, granted, with Conker's description there, it's not helping. Ticklish, eh? Too tickly? What do you mean? I give props to all the women who voiced in this game. I can't imagine it was comfortable at all times. You mean the only one? The especially, only one. I mean, like, especially later on in the game. Ugh, I mean, like considering what all's ha what all happens in this game, I feel like they must they probably have to have at least a idea of what they're getting into. Yeah, curse. Yeah, I mean, again, like imagine Aww. if you took like basically this is what happens when you let you know the best the best writers of Fox and Comedy Central, you know, take some t or, you know take some notes from you know no this is what happens when you have uh, some fine British folk taking cues from like so the likes of Comedy Central and uh, Fox's mm. sitcoms. And apply it to a video game. I mean, this is very South Park has. Oh, definitely. Absolutely. In fact, I think they outright said that South Park was a huge inspiration for this game of writing. Oh, yeah. again, again, definitely wait until the latter half of this game. Like right oh now, God. like right now, they're more still trying to parody like just uh, okay. One, General that's one bad TV platformer yeah. tropes. They'll get into more specific media examples later. Boy, how do you do that? Hmm. So unfortunately, it looks like uh, little Miss Sunflower there is uh, there. She's playing the defensive game, so we're gonna have to, you know, shatter ante. that those defenses even further. Mm. Particularly bees. We shall up the ante. Scattered all across the barn here. Oh, and uh, if it's not already, it's, if it's not already worth noting that unfortunately, uh, between Conker's slightly uh, stunted uh, mobility mixed with uh, you know the, the 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 sheer scale of some of these levels, uh, this is why we're also deciding to opt for the live uh, longer sessions of uh, recording because of uh, uh, there's 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 a lot of hoofing to be doing. Because we played AI the Somnium Files last night, and I completed the game, and that took like four hours, and I yes. said it would only take like two. Yes, you did, you big boy. <laughs> you completely had us thinking. Well, was... I mean that that la that that last that last bit of the the of the true route did take an eternity. Oh so, shush! It's a wordy the game. Viewers but the viewers will see the thing soon enough. It, it, it was a fun well, game. I just uh, but here's the thing. They... Yeah, let's... Here's the thing: Who suffers more, Icky, who went through the game, or Logan, who has to edit the game? Me, Logan. because and I wouldn't even say suffered, but here's the thing: because I want to make, because I have to be very careful to make sure that all of our audio is nice and neat and stuff, especially with that those long sessions. So it's the also for those wondering why I'm taking my time. It's because uh, if you, I think it's possible to uh, if you stray too, too far away from the bees, they'll stop following you. You lose them. But uh, yeah, that's the problem: is that uh, you guys get to go through. Fellas? Uh, hello? Hello? Oh, 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 there they are. Oh, there they are. Wow. They took, took your, your sweet time. time. Took your damn time. Slow okay, motherfucker. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, there's, like, I think there's like, what, two or... Oh, I thought it was three. I think three. I, I no, think there's like four. four. Oh. There's like four or five bu bundles of them you have, you have oh, to... Uh, uh, four uh, bundles Let's check the roof then. Uh, but yes, um, basically, you guys, you guys, you know, you guys, we already had to go through that game, you know, once. I gotta literally watch every single session back. I can like scrub through it a little bit, but I can't go too fast. So I effectively like for every two hours we record, four hours of like at least another two. For every two hours of the gameplay we play, I then have to watch another two hours of it to make sure everything turned out hunky dory. And I mean, I'm also hel helping take some of the pain away from him in trying to uh, list all the uh, appropriate chapters when it actually gets uploaded to YouTube. That I do appreciate. I mean, I can help name them too. Well, right, so, well, it's not even uh, just name. It's more so like so. So the, you, you know about that cool like I, chapter select feature on YouTube videos, oh, right? right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Let me see if I can actually do this. You gotta be careful. I've... Wait, will they... Right. If you, if you don't if you dunk too deep into the water, I think that also scares away the bees. Looks like they're still okay. All right. All right. We're, we're doing all right. There, okay, I remember now. There's one more we have to find, and it's probably the most dangerous to get because it actually requires you to traverse even traver, travel even further up into the barns oh, and the exterior. You, you want to be further beyond, and, and you want to be careful up there because I want to say after you pass a certain threshold, Jeez, just look at that. I mean, they're I mean they're already not hiding what we're about to find. Yeah. And they call themselves pacifists. <laughs> this is just silly. But I'll say that yeah, no, that's the other thing to be careful of is that. Uh, I want to say after you pass a certain threshold, climbing up higher and higher, uh, eventually if you fall, that's just going to be instant death, and I'm going to try and uh, 
you know, lead you on. Like, no, you're not surviving. You ain't surviving this one, kid. Yeah, even with the tail copter. Which, you know, kudos to them. That is relatively realistic in a cartoony game. So let's be yeah. mindful. Considering uh, how high up we have to go. Yeesh. So I will s yeah. and I guess... And we gotta go even higher. I'm gonna go higher. I'm gonna go get no bees on the up, moon. Eddie. Anywho. Um, that's it, I guess. So hear me out, because my first introduction to this was actually a Let's Play. Um, and without the knowledge of Let's Plays and walkthroughs and stuff, I could absolutely see this game as unfortunately being a guy dang it kind of game. <laughs> it can be yeah. like that sometimes. Not always. Not usually. Okay. Fingers crossed. Gotta time this just right. Ooh. 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 Oh, nice. Oh, oh come oh. on. What the hell are you How grabbing I, on there? What, what did we grab on? Oh, okay, okay. You know what? I was being a little too cautious there. <laughs> he was grabbing onto the bees. <laughs> Save it's me! Oh. Don't, don't drop me, brother. Help me. I mean, you guys you guys are literally in a bunch. You guys could just fly me over to where the uh, sunflower is. But they're pacifist yeah. bees. All they do is tickle. Well, how is that being a... How is that not... You're you sick. know, how is that not being a pacifist? You're literally just giving me giving me a hand. It's being well, a like, non-participant. That's how. We're pacifists. We're not dumbs. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're bumblebees, not dumblebees. Ha, there you go. <laughs> oh, my God. You hit that rim. You hit that. You, you hit that rim shot. I also, swear. Hello. I just realized there's another pack of bees uh, in there. I think oh, you messed wait, up. Wait. Oh wait, no. No, they're still there. Okay, because I thought if you go into the water, they'll stop that. I think it's only if you hit like a full on like if you like if the water wings and you're swimming like if that animation plays, maybe they'll leave. But uh, easy does it. Now come I mean, to geez, that end. How many bees are already on right now? Surely she's about to break. And oh, nope, man. still need more bees. A fighter. And we, we already saw them. They're up there. Now, how am I going to reach them, actually? Oh, you know what? No, I, I know what I can do. I can just high jump. Right. Later, that very same bee! <laughs> What's this? A flower a not trapped by a butt ton of bees? My, my pocket wallet are full of bees. I have to put my coin purse <laughs> my full of bees. My credit card filled with bees. My credit card. And we're done. And she... Wow. Yeah. Bee stings, they ain't. Oh. This is stupid. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, um, this is about to happen. And thankfully, we don't have to see any of it. No, you Conker just get to does. see Conker's reactions. <laughs> what the hell am I looking at? Now, he, guys, it's, it, it's very important that we do this. All we have to do to make this rated E for everyone is just slap the Discovery Channel logo in the bottom right, and bam, <laughs> it's now, all, now it's officially for science. <laughs> what? Uh, wait, what? Wait, what? Yeah, that line dollar always... A bounce. Yeah, that... Okay. A, a bounce in this pounce? Okay. Also, yeah, also, yeah that line dialogue always threw me for a loop as well, hype. The whole, I feel like a new man! So do I. Wait, what? By the way, real quick, you guys want to make a drinking game out of this? Oh, yeah, because this How is... many times does it take for James Van to land a triple jump? Because this is very finicky right here. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, you have to you have to press the A button. I think as the minute you land. But yeah, just like uh, Logan, oh. like you were saying that for some reason, I'm reminded of that one line from I think it was from Deadlocked, where it's like where Nefarious like glitches out, and the the episode is like, oh lads, I feel like a schoolboy again. What? Wait. Was I don't think Doctor Nefarious was even in Deadlocked. He he he, he, is. he is. It is a very very brief cameo, like post credit scene to show that. Oh. Like basically they're flying on that rock. It's like, Lawrence, you said we were getting in in proximity of a space station. Oh. Well, how was I supposed to know that it was going to explode in sixty seconds? Lawrence. And then he shuts off into that. Yeah. All right. Good times. Here we go. Oh yeah, I don't, oh, yeah, I don't. Oh yeah, I don't think we ever talked about that with you, Doug. But uh, Icky here is like, I know it's not something that he typically does all the time, but like Icky does some fun little impressions. Like we love his Bentley. He does a pretty good. Uh, he, he does, I, I like his impression of the uh, classic Eggman. Dean Eggman. Yeah, the Dean also, he's the also he's the best Gilbert Gottfried impression impressionist we have at the moment. Yeah. Oh, you oh. guys are too kind. Hey man, look at that bugger. What the? Why is the game upside down? Because they're bats. Oh, use your goddamn radar. Well, let's use your fucking radar. Oh yeah. 
All right, this part's gonna get me a little annoying because we gotta do some tight roping. And if they get close, we gotta throw meat cleavers at them. Oh, uh oh, well, okay, you're fine. But basically, yeah, play didn't fall. Off. Ooh, 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 ooh. Basically, whenever they get, basically, can't she just? Oh, oh, there nice. You go. That'll learn ya. <laughs> Stay toasty. Oh, hello. Uh, uh oh, I, thanks, thanks, guys. I didn't no. even know that was already there. Okay, so there you go. I don't need to know. He's already wandering around aimlessly. That's what he likes to do. He's just going around for. We already weekend. have an establishing cutscene for that. Right before his iconic 7 p.m. nap. <laughs> no. Yeah, as James, as James pointed out. I can. Uh, okay. I love how squishy that bat was. Go, go, I was about to say I can. I can burn these bats even when I'm not looking. I was about to say yeah. Just, just listen. Just listen for the audio cue. Oh. Remember. Also, like whenever you see the light bulb. Oh, no bats. Okay. Yep. Uh, we're all good. Now then, you look well hung. Let us help you with that. Whoa. Oh boy. And get good at aiming with this, because we're gonna be. This is gonna be a direly important uh, skill to use later. Is it? Yes. I will say it's actually Hello, probably one of my least favorite parts of this part. But anyway. Also, don't worry that this is the exact. They expect you to do it this way. Oh. <laughs> what can we do? Throw <laughs> everything. <laughs> I got so many of them. And... I... <laughs> oh. Okay. But he hits the ground so hard that. I think. Hang on. No, no, not yet. Oh. This isn't that bit of the game yet. No worries. All right. I think we get down safely. We can make it onto that. What should you do that for? <laughs> Don't laugh. Don't go hurt yourself now. Stupid bastard. <laughs> he just gets fully upset at him, that one. It really is just. Yeah, you do. Actually. You're welcome, Frankie. Uh, no worries. Oh, I love this bit here. Executions, you say about what? Uh, what? <laughs> huh? <laughs> they were well. They were really looking forward to it. You know, I wouldn't be surprised that if in the beta design they were planning on having white hoods instead of black. I wouldn't be surprised. Why? Because you know. <laughs> Well, I mean, like, oh. I know what he meant by white hoods. I just meant, like, in the context of this just joke. Just to make it even more it? dark and horrible. And? And, you know, oh, for Contra to be a little bit more justified in that. <laughs> also, the paintbrush is still laughing numb nuts. Yeah, but he yeah, but he ain't the brains of that operation. <laughs> nope. So, uh, yeah, we still got that big hay monster to worry about. Do we really have to worry about it? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but hey, I just like the abruptness. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, we're a pitch hey, we now have a pitchfork on our side, and now we can use All his right. attacks to our advantage. Ow! Oh, oh, we're bad at fun. this. Oh, that, that was funny. Like on my end, like he slammed just so hard, it's like the Discord couldn't handle the slam, so it kind of lagged a little. <laughs> for for you, for you, it slammed, and then the do 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 do. Yeah, there's a bit of a delay here I gotta work with. Yep. Well, in the game, anyway. There's a bit of a wind-up. Oh, come on, you! <laughs> Man! Oh! Ah! Oh, yes. But, 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 you're, but, you're, but, yeah, but no, but James is definitely on the right track there. Our best plan is to attack him from behind while he doesn't see us. Let me just grab another, uh, quick one. <laughs> just to be safe. <laughs> oh! Oh! oh. oh. Now, he, now he got me! Oh. I what flavor chocolate it is. I think it's just uh, regular milk chocolate. Uh, cow, uh, cow pie flavor. Ugh. There we go. Nice. There Jeez. you are. Why is there oh. fire? Good question. I don't know. I mean, it's not like we're Ow. operating with flint. Oh. I mean, granted, the, the sheer force and velocity of our little stunt. Whoa. Wow. I'm not dying today, everybody. Come on. Not today. Oh, come on. Oh, boy. Now he's giving me bad behavior. It, it, maybe instead of... Oh, my oh, God. Boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try, try to get a good distance away from him first. Well, I'm trying. Dude was literally cornering me. Yeah, the camera is not doing us any favors. <laughs> yeah, it could be better sometimes. Anyway, better respawn by the next phase. Spike his ass. Oh, come Whoa. on. Ah. Again, I don't remember him giving me this bad behavior. Okay, we just gotta find some chocolate. There you know go. Maybe I gotta try to get from behind. The chocolate, I mean, chocolate, there was, there was chocolate uh, back there, you passed. It makes sense that Bill Dodery oh! his ass. Well, well, you won't be needing that chocolate for now. Oh, Ow! Oh, oh. Get off of me! Yeah, that's just really seal that's the deal. an insult to entry there. <laughs> oh! And now we meet this motherfucker. 
I was hoping this would be, we could do this a little later when I actually start fucking up, but uh, we fucked up. And thus we must. <gasps> we must meet our maker, or our taker. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hello. Um, my name's Greg. Please. Nice to meet you. Grim Reaper. Don't laugh. You seem... <laughs> Don't laugh. <laughs> well, how many Grim Reapers have you met before, mate? What are no. they supposed to look like? Yeah, that's a good point. Well, yes. <laughs> now, let's see. The Big uh, Book of Scrolls. Contact. Yeah, I guess the this is theory. it, folks. We're ending this commentary pretty early. I know, right? Man. Wait, what's wrong? Or are we? Squirrel, wouldn't you? Why, is there a problem with that? Well, yes, there is, actually. What? Like those bloody cats. Such a pain in the ass. You're one of these special cases. Oh, really? Really? Yes. Apparently, according to the powers that be... <laughs> Stares directly at the developers. I do what I'm told. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you, development. Have as many lives as they think they can get away with. Hmm. Oh, I see. So it's I'm all in the dead. mind. You're dead, but not quite. <laughs> right. Well, I'll, uh, I'll be off then. Totally you. Just you. <laughs> Oof. Oh. Don't get out of it that easily. So yeah, Greg here <clears throat> is just. You only see him, like, what, twice throughout the entire game? Right. This being one of those major cases, but already he's probably one of the better characters in the game just for his... Snarky. He do he's, he's done with all this platformer nonsense. Yeah. That and he just... That and he hates those bloody cats. Well, yeah, because those multiple lives kind of mess up his job. At least unlike cats only stick to nine lives, red squirrels can have as many as they can find, so long as you get those tails. So, keep an eye out for those, because they're going to be very important to us. In fact, while we're still in the barn, I know there's one particular area we can break through that can give us a huge bonus. Yes, you can. Oh? Assuming they let you do it this early in the game. You can still do it. Oh. <laughs> the way they meow and piss everywhere. Just... When they shit on the floor when they're right in front ah, of the litter box. They fucking out piss everywhere as well as pissing in my fucking living room. So, uh, now what? Hello. You're coming with me. Enter the land of the living once more. And here we are. Oh, really? Here of all times? Oh, we, we have to go all the way back through all that stuff? No, 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 I don't... Come to think of it. I don't believe... Is, uh... Let me actually check and see. Nah, oh, no, no. Back. I... Wait, wait, let me... There's only one way to find out. Let's uh, let the camera turn here. Also, and... also that's something that I didn't think oh, we what the conked conked out. Oh, that took a little bit of time. Oh, that was a bit late. late. Oh, oh, he's already. Yeah. Oh, he's already well, done. Huh? Well done. But uh, yeah, we're, All right. now is there a way to skip cutscenes well, that we've already seen? Oh yeah, as a matter of fact, there is. With the left trigger, or no, no, it was the uh, it was the whatever it constitutes as a select button on this thing. Oh, uh, the, the back one with the, uh, the, the back screens. button. I think they call it. But anyway, Which is like, ironic because the N sixty four didn't have a select button. Anyway, I was about to say, like, something I just noticed that, like, like that whole tight roping trick, oh. honestly, like, would have, like, helped us quite a bit if we knew we could have just, like, platformed around those poles. It's something you do need to be careful of, because sometimes you don't have that luck. You don't ha quite have that luxury. Nah. All right, so now, if you get hit by the bats while you're in midair, can you fall to the ground and take even more damage without even, like... I actually am not sure if they have, if they give you iframes. Uh, but yeah, okay, so we definitely want to try and get him from... Like so we definitely want to try and strike him from behind. Uh, and chocolate will regenerate, which is helpful. Okay, while we... Nice! Distracted. There you go. Ooh. Right yeah. in the butt. Ah, right. Eee. Ah, whoo! Dude, not just a butt, ah, right, ah, right in the ass. I'm on fire oh. again! Oh, jeez! Oh, you can jump. He had us cornered, but... Yeah, you can jump, for whatever that's worth. Not very high, though. Okay, uh... Frankie, Frankie, let's go. Maybe you can jump over the shockwaves from his foot? Uh, oh, well, well, uh, you, you can, I think. Well, it's like, when he's stomping around, I don't think that does damage. It's just, uh, when he hits you with his hand, that's what you got to worry for. But yeah, just get him from behind and... Now! Nice! What? Oh, man. Right oh, I got, I got him. I got him now. Oh, wait, what's wow. going on? That was that was lucky. He's not all hay. What? <gasps> da, 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 da. Excuse you? Oh, he says it. Wait for it. Buffy, you <laughs> the haymaker. Well, well, that's not very nice. <laughs> that's why I'm gonna call him anyway. 
haymaker. Oh, ow! Oh, almost hit. I'll definitely want to get him from behind. I mean, he's got a pretty heavy hay, uh, haymaker right there. The haymaker? Yeah, he does. The haymaker. <laughs> the haykinator. Haymaker. <laughs> haykinator? No, we can't call it that. Oh, you know what? Maybe I gotta wait until he, wait until he uh, stops for oh. and actually looks around. Gotcha, okay, okay. So let's, wait, let's, the tur haymaker? Assuming. The turhan hater. The turhan the tur tur hater. Yeah, gotcha! Oh, there he goes. And there, a grand <laughs> ruckus is made. And, uh, yeah, hold yeah. on. Uh oh. So, uh, I think we're about to see what's so neat about this barn. Uh... Well, you mean the fact that, aside from the fact that there's just a friggin' hay sack terminator? We survived this. Ouch. Whoa. Yeah, so, yeah, thank, thank you, script. All right, dude. You know, contact sensitive. Only because the plot demanded it, we survived. Oh, so bear in mind, without, now without Frankie, Conker cannot walk around. You're basically going to be walking as though you were drunk at the beginning of the game again. Oh, no. Kind of. So make sure you have Frankie. Well, that being said, it doesn't, it doesn't mean anything because you're expected to ride on Frankie throughout this whole next phase. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Uh oh. <gasps> oh my is. god! Yeah. So, <laughs> oh, now what's he gonna say? The oh, real okay. oh, wait, here we go. And. And there. Finally, for every time <gasps> that James and I have done that line, now people know what it's from. Now you know. He's fun. Assuming you didn't know already, because, you know, Conker's bad for a day. You know, it's, there's a reason why pe a lot of people actually remember it. So, so how do we fight this thing if we can't take out the hay no more? Alright, so, uh, with this particular... <gasps> oh! Oh, boy. We gotta, we gotta lure Susie 9mm to nice. these, uh, to these, uh, water pipes. So I would say... And then immediately lure him to them. So I would say the best... I would say, honestly, the best way to do that is just, uh, just stand behind the pipes. Right. And wait till he gets oh, all zappy. He, he got zappy zap zapped. And now he's going to move right to the middle and go into his, uh... Do not push. Push! <laughs> I just noticed he had, like, shark teeth there for a second. Yeah, I just saw that. Oh, yeah, no. Shark teeth! I, I, I could absolutely see, especially because they're British, you know, I could absolutely look at this and see his inspiration to this hype. What's that? Uh, the, the, the dog from the Sheep Barbers episode of Wallace and Gromit. Oh, right. He's malfunctioning. Oh, oh what? <laughs> what was that, nice. a yeah, yeah shape. that's it. Yeah, because I, I, I watched the short gun. Because I do remember that. I, I do remember that whole scene with that dog freaking me out as a kid when, like, his when his fake skin well, gets pulled off. Be a robot. Yeah, when his fake fur is pulled away yeah. from him. And I also remember the fact that apparently the only kind of women that Wallace doesn't get into are the lactose intolerant. <laughs> Cheese, yeah, yeah. all the Cheese. <gasps> not even Wensley Dale. What's wrong with Wensley Dale? <laughs> I, I'm not gonna lie. This is one of my favorite. It's like. You guys remember that meme that went around where it's like, okay, oh, here oh, we go. Oh, oh, then you see like the, oh yeah. boy, oh. Ow, that took two Ow. hits of health. Like the the meme was like, there was someone saying like, oh, here we go and whatnot. Then you see like the SpongeBob title card right. in the corner. And it's something. <laughs> I still love the edit that someone did of like, off we go then, which is the lever. Then you see like the Wednesday no Dale Wensleydale sucks. sign there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with Wensleydale? <laughs> which, I, which I think I already told. Go ahead. Whoa. No, I was just saying that this is gonna suck because I gotta jump over these things. Oh, well, hey, you're making oh. it come. You're doing well. Get, get, you're getting that uh, highlight reel ready for this. Uh, no, and <laughs> nice. Nice. Uh, I, I think I, I think it was either Matt or someone else, but you you know the story about Wallace and Gromit and, Wen and Wensleydale, right? Me? Um. Oh, the Look fact that apparently, like, because of how popular Wallace and Gromit is, they actually saved like Wensleydale production. Well, no, no. It was basically there was an actual cheese factory. In, in Wensleydale, that was, like, really... That was actually, like, going out of business. Like, no one was buying their cheese. Yeah! But because Wallace and Gromit kept... Because Wallace kept talking about Wensleydale, a lot of people actually bought Wensleydale and actually saved the factory. That's adorable. Well, what? Wasn't that what you just said? But you said, you said Wensleydale Productions, so I thought you meant, like, a film studio. <laughs> no, I, I meant, like, the actual cheese. Sorry, yes. Wensleydale Cheese Production. Yes. Sorry. A Wensleydale feature. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we made his hay. Ah, Frankie. <laughs> <laughs> He's no longer getting his hay, though. Oh, no. What's wrong? Yep. Unfortunately, <gasps> oh, it cost Frankie his oh, no. well, two halves. He's been snapped in half. You don't look too good. No. Literally. I mean, 
It can't be that good. Uh, it can't be that bad considering he tried hanging himself and he doesn't even have I mean, esophagus. Is, can he even feel this? I doubt it. Like, honestly, he seems to be taking it better than, I, than you know, anyone else would be in this exact situation. You know what, Frankie? I think of a table that could use a leg like you. Oh my god. Devil damn it. <laughs> no, if only we could solve our problems that easy. Ta da! I mean, like, Conquer doesn't even know about the, the Panther King at this point. I know. In fact, we, only, we won't learn about him until the very end of the game, honestly, but uh, let's see. Look at that! We did so bad after all. Yay! Yeah, that's great. Nothing a little glue in the rack and uh, fix. It's the, the, it's the duck tape. You look like an earthworm. Yeah. Sure, you look like an earthworm right now, but you'll be okay. <laughs> he does <laughs> kind of like, you know, from the, from the from the waist up, he does kind of look like him. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. No need to get sentimental. Anyway, now we gotta find a way out of here now. Yeah, you could be right. Well, let's because see. uh, we did some bad damage breaking those water pipes. Oh boy, I don't think that's water. Yeah, typical. I mean, it's about as uh, liquidy as water, so uh, it's pee. Oh, yeah, okay, like, it, it's, it could be that for some reason. I thought you were about to the go, water like, this tower. is gas. Well, well, and here's the problem. Sure, we could just swim to the top, but there's live electric, live electrical wires everywhere. So we got a book it. So, uh... You know, you could cut the wires before they hit the electricity. Well, that's the idea that hopefully James can solve. It's kind of funny yeah, because... You might I can solve it. It's just a down. matter of if I'll have enough time to solve it, and, uh... It's a good thing I don't know how to actually dive under water yet, because uh, would I be silly enough to actually grab that chocolate? So here comes, I mm -hmm. guess, one. This, this is, I would say, probably one of the steepest uh, difficulty spikes in the <clears> game, <throat> is you need to aim for the very top of the wires. Yep. A little bit to the left. Man, if only there were a nice. radical. And That's not the only one we need right, to worry you, about. Right, you need to look. Uh, right, I, think, I think there's one right behind electrified. you. I think there's one right behind you. Uh, the one at the very... Oh. There. Ooh, got nice. it. Okay, now it is. So now we got. Oh, oh wait, 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 wait. It's still not good. I it's think still you not forgot good. the one at the very bottom. Where? What one at the very bottom? Did uh, we pass one, like, right down there? No, 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 no. Uh, look, no. Looks, oh, right there. Oh, wait, 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 there it is. Ooh, Told you. Wow. Uh, when you said bottom, I thought you meant, like, the very deep bottom. And, uh, and nice. Okay. I mean, we I mean, just started our track. Oh, let's hurry. Uh, next ladder. And, um,. Now, I don't know how uh, I don't know how bad the timer on this is because it actually looked like the water. Uh oh, oh boy! Now yeah, yeah, it's gonna go. rise even higher. Oh, camera, now camera, it's even oh, camera. Okay. It's also kind of funny because when I played this for the first time, uh, this this is how far I died into it. I want to say there's only two of these sequences though, so once we're done with this this uh, this uh, bunch of uh, lightning rods, we'll be fine. Okay. Or, or cut wires. We'll no worries. Fine. All right. So live wires. Nice. Live wires. Nice uh, one. Like long, Here's yeah, long oh shot God. that one. Oh boy, come on. Uh, okay, so, uh, oh, oh, oh. so okay, so there is no fall arc to it. It is just a straight line. Um, this one, this one is one. Oh, this was on the more difficult ones. Nice. Okay, one to the left. Okay, then. More. Where's... Yeah, over there. Oh. Right there. Oh, there it is. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ooh. There it is. Okay, we're good. That's it. We're dead. Just in time too. We gotta hurry. Don't worry, there's no more live wires to worry about. Oh, okay. I remember when I was it's first... Just gonna, it's just enough water to raise us to that hole over there. Yeah, I do remember when I was first uh, playing this... Wherever it is. Uh, this the, place is too fucking To the dark. left, maybe? <clears throat> Where is it? <laughs> the trail's uh, underwater, just, too. Oh, wait. Uh, just go a little circle, I'm sure we'll find it. But, uh, what was I gonna say? Um, it's, um... I do remember when I was first playing this. There. Oh, there it is. I remember when I was first playing this game. That was probably one of the more difficult parts for me was getting that aim down right. Yeah, the aiming I had to get down right. Gyro aim would definitely help in a game like this. Or you know, with target radical. In Lime Reloaded, you have to aim all that with the right stick. Oh, that's right. Which I mean, you know, nowadays might not oh, seem like this an guy issue, here? but uh, it, oh yeah, there's a there's just a random monk in the barn. Hello, Mr. Greeting. Monk. Uh, so uh, how's it hanging? Oh, you're on top of his. Oh, he'll say, Get you. off. Which, uh, which, yeah, ow. Be careful of things that launch you up. Oh, there's that neat thing. And, uh, yeah, also get used to that. The amount of things this game will make you do for each of your 100 bucks is gonna get wilder and wilder. A hundred dollar reduce per objective? More or less. <laughs> More or less. Hmm. Oh, you know, you know, Bruce Bruce Wayne said it best. Millionaire are so last year. Let's get going. Says Bruce Wayne. 
So there is from here we can do one other thing, Ooh. which is uh, I believe there is something we can find at the very tip top of the tower. Yep, we're actually gonna go even higher than oh that whole water bucket over there. We're going to drop kick the, f the fucking earth. Only downside is the trick, the triple on the way is a bunch of wasps who ain't too happy about what we did did to their stolen property. Ooh, some big yeah. biggies. Careful now, <clears throat> wasps. Easy does it. And if you're not careful. This could be another case where, you know, you could fall just far enough to go. Yeah, that would be my other problem I've known is, uh, I, I believe that, uh, Ooh. is that Conquer... Just by the inch, just by the inch of Octavia. Is that Conquer is yeah. a little slippery, uh, on platforms. So what are these... Oh, and that one I remember throwing me off. ...in the background. Oh. <clears throat> yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, now he's just Self following training. me. Oh, Jesus. Dodgy. Yeah, I actually, he just got a point while we're here. Look at this vista. Take a load of the Panther King's kingdom. Gotta be high. A random uh, tower. There's his castle. A big, old, a big old castle that's even higher. Hey, the I'm, ta I'm taking a self. I'm taking a selfie here. Don't, don't mind. A dark and spooky mansion. A tree. <laughs> a tree. A tree. And the uh, military. And, and Vietnam. <laughs> That More on that later. I don't know. Anyway. I, I, I don't know. I'm sorry. That was... So, uh, what do you think, boys? Do you think we can make this jump? Uh, what's below this? Do Magic it, and uh, prayers. We'll just, ha we'll just have to find out. Magic and prayers and queen. Yeah, and don't, don't, do not miss that button press. Yeah, don't. That's a long way oh, down, otherwise. Boy. Aha! A tail wow. and some money. Yeah, I don't uh, know. Cool. But, uh, cool, I guess. I don't know. I, I'm sorry. I, said that. I, just, I don't know why I gave that. I just, I love that idea of that joke of like, we have the mystical, magical, wooden bee kingdom, the spooky, haunted mansion, <laughs> the tower of, of uh, Terra Fi, and Vietnam. Vietnam. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were about to say. And a tree stump. <laughs> That's what I was about to say, where it's like, I thought it was going to be whole, like, Oh, the, Mr. Ma the Magical Bee Kingdom, the spooky Mr. Kingdom, a tree, a tree, and Detroit. <laughs> Become Just human? the city Detroit. Where nothing is human. <laughs> or New Haven, Connecticut. Ah, uh, alright, so now I think we want to go uh, to the left here. Do we really want uh, to? Yes, we do, because... Uh, Actually, not right around the same place where all those uh, those um, metal bl metal blocks are just the doing their thwomping business. Down these here shitty, these shit ridden yeah, uh, shit. floors is the, the cavern word. that we opened up. I guess that's also which has some dollary dues. Woo. Woo. Money. Don't mind if I do. Money. Oh, another wise guy. Come on in. Get over here. Yeah. What other wise guys do you know? Just as a side, don't they? Don't the British usually take the pound? Yeah, oh. but I, but I guess they're just going off of like cartoon logic and oh, a, a life yeah, for your trouble. More, yeah, it's more cartoon logic. And actually, before we do leave, ah, okay. yeah, and uh, before we do leave the barn area, I do want to try finding that uh, secret uh, stash that um, I alluded to earlier. I want to say it's over by where the cheese is. It, it's near the cheese block. It's yeah, in the okay. cheese block, yeah. Alright, so to the right Come on. we go. I'm not that slippery, am I? Yes, you are. To the right we go. Uh, other way, other way. <laughs> no, we're on the right track. To the cheese? Oh, I guess, yeah, because we can go the back way. Fair enough. It's all in a circle. And then. And for those wondering why I didn't take this particular path when I was going for going for all the cheese, right. uh, I think uh, if you hold up. It, you, it would, uh, you wouldn't have enough time to reach the, uh, the wrap before uh, the cheese just explodes from um, <laughs> all his. Uh, the cheese is going bad. Yeah, pretty much. So Damn, that juice is stinking. All that's all, all that's all that stress turned him into uh, cubed cheese. Hmm. Oh well. Oh. Anyway, it's some it's a, it's somewhere around here. I can break it's one around of here. these. Uh... Yeah, I think that's right there. Okay. What's is it? it... Not that now one. Do the you, other one. Now on do you now do you now do you ground pound it or do you? There's a con there, there's a light bulb that'll pop up the moment I'm I'm at the spot I can yeah. break. Yeah. Uh, try jump mm. try jumping over it from up high. There, there you go. There you there go. go. And slammo. So I did not know about this. And ooh, you're welcome. Thank you. But um, but yeah, no, we found another tail stash. But this one's super special because it gives us an extra ten lives. Ten lives. Ooh. Now, yes. can you, how how often can you come back here to get that? Uh, every time you load your reload your save file, it should there should be another one there waiting. For Good. You. Because is... uh, unfortunately, this game does do the uh, dirty thing of uh, resetting your life count whenever you. Speaking of life, oh, okay, oh, there it is. The question I was about to ask. Because <laughs> yeah, no, because I will say, uh, 
yeah, be careful because uh, there's definitely a lot of easy ways to lose lives in this game. But uh, very easy. Uh, I guess if, before we before we end, there's one other thing I could kind of see if we could try. Oh. Uh, is it we go? Well, you know, I think I would say we have enough time. Let's do the sh the stuff in the shit. Oh, area okay. Because I was gonna say if you go back to over where the wasps are at, you can get something if you go through the little holes in their uh, wasp uh, yeah, mountain. Yes. Uh, oh yeah, you're right. So basically, what you want to do is uh yeah, because you'll go up there at one point. But basically, what you do is is we head back to where the wasps were with the beehive. Funnily enough, we will have to deal with that uh, wasp hive again later. But for now. Uh... At least not yet, because, uh, you know, Queen, Queen Bee and her uh, subjects are happy. She's got an entourage of tickly bees. Now, does the rare replay allow for safe stating to allow us to keep our lives? Uh, no. Uh, not as far as I'm aware. All right. Actually, no, wait, let me check. Uh, if I hold down th these... Whoop. Okay, yeah, no, they don't have a safe... Darn. They don't have safe states for Bromper. Okay, because I was like, yeah, because it'd be so nice if we could hold on to our lives like that, but... Fine. Yeah. So, which is why I I think we can extend our stay here a little longer. So from here, uh, we can actually I want to say go to the left one. I believe it's the left one. Yep. Yeah. So then from here we can jump in here, then head to this top center one. And what's all this then? There was supposed to be money here. Where did I was shit? What a ripoff! Maybe it spawns in later. Where's the money? Maybe you'll spawn there later, but for yeah, now, I think it's uh, nah, not nah. bad. Yeah, again, we have. But yeah. So. Go ahead. <laughs> Safety first. Safety first, everyone. Remember, we're not wearing this thing for long. Meanwhile. Oh. Yeah, after... Meanwhile, in the castle of the Panther. At the castle of Doom. You're telling me for an hour he was just fucking around in the barn? Yes, he was fucking around in the barn. So wait, he's specifically looking for... Well, not yet, what? you'll see. The Professor. Oh yeah, no, Panther King at this point knows nothing about concrete yet, let alone, you know, this not the Professor's master plan. How is the solution? What? Chicken butt. A good one, sir. I swear to you, it will solve world table leg shortage. And I say chicken thigh. Good. Good one, sire. He, that never gets old after the 40th time. Yeah, rebuild it! Find the constructor! Put him to the throat! Does Ikea not exist in this cartoon land? Nah, I know. It's, it's all... Not as far as we're aware. It, it, it... They, they have a tavern called the, Co the Cock and Plucker. <laughs> but, uh, no, uh, no Ikea or anything of the sort. But yeah, no, so... Do we have no Kia? Again, welcome to the mystical and kind of unique tone of Conquer, where it's like, on one end, it's like childish, zany, what logic mixed with a genuine, just like, adult, like, what the fuck is this? So, no matter what, you're just going to be asking yourself, what am I seeing? Actually, considering the time this was released, this could very much be a bonafide Adult Swim special. Very much. I could see it. Or Adult Swim, the video game. Pretty much. Squid. <laughs> hey, I'm not a lay. <laughs> I'm not even a mess. I eat lays. And yes. So there you go, everybody. There's our big plot. The villain wants Conquer to be a table stand. A table leg. Table leg. And assuming you do game over in this game, he gets his wish. Sort of. Although that can vary depending on how, on what uh, Conquer's final uh, fate is. Right. Oh, that's right. Yeah, there are different endings. I usually got the one where I just exploded, so it's just a bag of pulp. <laughs> Sometimes you can be, you can either be a bloody bag of pulp, you can be a wet bag of pulp, a wet bag of something. Oh yeah, because you're ground. Or if it's just a regular old death, yeah, then yeah, he does become the table stand. <laughs> yes. And, and yet he's still alive. Wall has a table stand. Yeah, it's kind of weird like that. Actually, we'll see those two weasels anyway. later. For now, nice digs. Evening. Hey, how you doing? Good morning. Oh, the last time you had a janitor in here. Uh, well, she wear like dung beetles. You roll the poo around. Knows what's for. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. <coughs> That's called instinct. <laughs> Stinked. In there. Get on. And I'll make it a ball of poo. And you can do what the hell you like with it. Go on. On your bike. On your bike. Fuck off. Charming. 
by the way. I would I always loved that bit too when I was younger too. Like I used to watch this in particular clip every once in a while, just for that particular tone that that dumb beetle has. Also, for those wondering, yes, we are deep into the shit now. By the way, I love the name of the music for this uh area. What, what's this? Sopurano. The Quana Chase. So, or so just Poo. <laughs> just called okay. So we met I think Soprano is actually the name of the uh in between the of uh this whole bit and uh the nice. area with the cavemen. Mm. Yes <laughs> Yeah, this whole sound effect. <laughs> yeah, this is where it just goes. I was just about to bring that up actually. Oh no the oh, oh, oh hey Oh, oh wow well. You're like, no wait, shit. Wait, what? Hold on a minute. Oh, good. This is poo, this is, this is too poo flooring. That shouldn't affect me. <laughs> yeah, it should be soft. Because yes, no, that is that is an actual mechanic. Like if you fall from a far enough distance and you land in like you know this flat this flat flooring of poo, that doesn't count. You literally just shove head first into the poo and you hurt, take no damage. Right, it's like when Mario squish. falls into snow or sand. Exactly. But hey, we made it. Where are the cows? That's not a cow. That's a bull. Right, oh boy, well. this is gonna be uh, bullshit. <laughs> That's an angry looking bull. He's a pissed off motherfucker. For some poo. I, <laughs> I love the delivery. He's like, I don't know what I'm being asked for. Oh, uh, what about the stuff you were just walking around in? What's wrong? Red. Oh, that stereotype. That's a uh, movie. It's all orange, myth. But okay. And I will always still say it's like. I always saw Conqueror's orange. Don't know if that's just me. Well, well it's it, to be fair, his, the name of his breed is Red Squirrel. Yeah, so. Fair. No, I thought was the breed name of uh, Conqueror species was Squid. So sorry, Conqueror, you got to... Uh... Squid? Why are you I was like, oh, yeah, I was like what are you looking at me for? You're the, you're the idiot who's got to go in there with the bull. <laughs> so yeah, no, uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the bullshit part oh. of Conqueror's Bad oh, Fur Days. <laughs> so how do we deal with this? Well, okay, I lie. It's not really bullshit. It's just... <laughs> Thank you. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, like, this can be a little tricky if you're not careful, because, uh, first things first, uh, we gotta, well, don't worry about the bull, he's he's kind of just there being an ass. No, he's there being a bull. I was about to say, I just noticed, like, Conqueror's, like, stance there. He's ready Oh, for yeah, he's strike. always like that whenever you get out of anything that's liquidy. Uh -oh. Yeah, because, like, 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 in this oh, instance, wow! it's... Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, oh. Did I, did that's that's okay. Thank you. <laughs> oh, it's, like, it's like, okay, Conker, do a backflip. Do a flip. <laughs> yeah. That was anyway. funny. Oh. Oh, okay, get ready, James. <laughs> so, uh, this next sequence may not be for the faint of heart. Because we gotta get to business. Well, the entire game's not for the faint of heart. Grape jam. Prone juice. It looks like grape. I'm hungry. It does. It's purple, therefore no, it's grape. Bold new taste. It's gonna get the screaming squit. Oh dear. Oh no. Most people, oh, no. most other people would just call it the screaming shits. The Conqueror's the nice type like that. Yeah. Rarely does he swear. So. Yeah. Kind of funny when you think about Only it. Only when he's really upset. They're gonna be incredibly constipated. What was it from? Oh no no! Don't worry, Doug. We're not we're not gonna be the ones drinking that stuff. I'm now. Yeah, I was about to say like I thought I thought prune juice is supposed to do the opposite <clears throat> of that. I was about to say I say the bay, not I. Oh. Yeah, well. Uh, so Conqueror's that. wearing a sweatshirt. Why is he not wearing pants? He's do, a tune. do you really think I'm gonna need pants? I mean, there is the there is live and reloaded. They gave him shorts. Uh oh, the music. Considering you're basically in a giant bathroom. I guess not. Ole! I recognize the music cue anywhere. It's time for the bull chase. The running of the bull. Away! And behold, a cow. Okay. A cow. A cow. The cow. A chicken. But how are we going to get hands on control of the bull? You'll see. Is that also voiced by the guy who voices Conquer? I don't think her specifically, no. It, like, Again, as far as I'm aware, there's like three particular actors, one of which is, was only known for a uh, very, very famous part in this game. But the, the rest of them are voiced by Chris Sever and uh, whoever was uh, helping. As Barry and stuff. The, uh, Chris Sutherland? Maybe Sutherland. Uh oh, well, Shirley well, Bassett. Bass oh. oh boy. Yeah, I think that's Okay, it. so now, yeah, James is. Yeah, we need to leave him away because we gotta get a direct hit on that sign. Right here, Mr. Boogalugs. Hey, bolly, 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 bolly. Hey, bolly, 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 bolly. Swing, swing. Nice. 
Now we just jump on top, Ben. Ha ha! I put it in the chat. Now, be careful. Woohoo! Be careful because Whoa. that'll teach her. That didn't what kill me. No? I mean, uh, I'll admit, in some regards, this can be considered kind of a. It's not in a six slot of a Conqueror's Bad Fur Day. Nah, that's not until the, that's not until of, like, the gears. That's what I can think of. Oh no. Because obviously, but basically our whole plan is this. Have the cows drink some of the prune juice. Wait for the effects to kick in. I mean, did you not read the sign before you started gulping that shit down? And... Maybe they're illiterate. There it hits! <laughs> ah, yes. Remember, this is not a game for kids. Run! And down. This oh, part makes Jesus. me very uncomfortable. Welcome to Conquer. Again, just wait until later in the game. Yes. Yeah, this is. Yeah, you ain't seen nothing yet with this. Don't worry. You at the very least, you don't have to see a cut. We have to do this multiple times. But fortunately, we don't have to do it. We have to watch this cutscene every time. Thank God. Yeah, there's a pattern to this. Because Icky, uh, yeah, no, that first hit did not kill her. Uh, this one is not as much of a guarantee. Dead! Oh. Well, uh, she was well tenderized. Context sensitive. And with that, we now gotta start the process all over again, back from the start. Rule threes, as they say. There we go. That was nice. some of the cow. Now we just gotta bring Mr. Bull over here back so we can ride him. And, uh, I mean, yeah, so at this point, uh, I am curious... Uh, James, was there ever a part that, like, actually had you feeling uncomfortable playing this game? Like, as in, like, when you were as a kid, like, watching all this? Hmm. I'm trying to think. I mean, I was somewhat grossed out at first by this whole, by that whole sequence you just saw earlier, but that's... Um, I'm trying to think off the top of my head if there was anything that really scarred me as a kid. Nothing's immediately coming to mind. I remember the initial bit... I mean, it should be said, I... I was, you know, a dumb kid back then. I only, I mostly got to experience a handful of these through a rented copy that. Oh, oh, oh. Into the shit you got. Oh, uh, head. First. But it was a rented copy. Yeah, I was. Yeah, you know, yes, block, you know, blockbuster stuff. Oh like. right! Oh my gosh! Yeah, you're right. There was that, and then I wouldn't get to re-experience this until Ooh, later nice. on, back when, you know, the emulator craze was really hitting it big. Oh, yeah. That and also Live and Reloaded when that was still a thing. And I think that was, like, the first time I properly completed it on my own terms. That's fair. Which I guess I guess I, guess I can bring that up. So Live and Reloaded was a game made for the Xbox. This was, like, that was, like, the first big thing that I want to say they did uh, after uh, Microsoft acquired them. And uh, no, there was that, this. Uh, they they already uh, beforehand. They did have the likes of uh, Grab by the Ghoulies. Boy. Yeah. That what was. about what about the Sopranos spinoff, the Grab by the Gabagool? No, the Gabagool. Gabagool. Anywho, no. Uh, the Baba Louis. Uh, there we go. Now uh, say goodbye. Uh oh. 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 Well, Not again! In some ways, I'm kind of in some ways, I'm kind of grateful. You missed. Thank goodness. Uh, so in any case, what was it? Um, so then the other thing was that um, so Live and Reloaded was taking the first Conquer game and I mean Ooh. right away they gave it a major graphical overhaul. Uh, pardon me, ma'am. We actually do this. I wonder if you could trick him into. No, it doesn't work that way, unfortunately. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. You have to be the one to finish her off. Right, well, back to the sign we go. But uh, so they which they yeah. gave it a major graphical overhaul. Well, um, they uh. You I would love to add you. in, like, an oncoming bus sound effect. What? <laughs> yeah, basically. Jeez. We'll see. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's a little tight. <laughs> nice! Okay. One. Also, yeah, no, if it's not immediately obvious, Bugalugs is an absolute ass to control. But that's kind of <laughs> the point. He's oh, wait. You said ass, not yeah, shit. Yeah, no, not, 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 not. <laughs> well, he is kind of a... He is kind of a... Ah, yeah, I mean, I mean, I hope I mean they do know. come from the ass, so you're not wrong, technically. I was about to say, technically, you would want to say Iki that trying to control him is a load of bull. Uh, oh, that's oh not God, the camera angle! Oh, now! Well, that's going to be one thumbnail for you. That, that could be one thumbnail for you. That was serious bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> that's where you yeah, added well, the sound. It was more so my fault, because, again, I keep mixing up which which, which trigger does the uh, duck, and, duck and jump. Right, 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 right. What about duck Phew. and cover? We don't got that. Duck? Okay. That the crawling. Yeah. <laughs> nice. So then the so like all right, let's try that again. So in addition to a big graphical overhaul with Live and Reloaded, another thing they did was they they uh, they updated some of the controls and some of the items you use, such as 
you know, instead of a frying pan, you would use a bat with nails in it. Or, uh, I believe they also heavily uh, revamped, when we get around to that, the shooter segments of this game. Uh, they did. I mean, that that I'll give to the to 11 Rulers credit. Those sections were better handled in, in, uh, in the original, which, you know, in 64 con uh, controller, take that for what you will. Yeah, they, 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 did, they, did, they did a better job of having to play more like a third-person, you know, over-the-shoulder shooter. But, uh, anywho... Beyond that, when because we brought up you brought up his legs earlier, Icky. So another thing they did was they had an entirely optional like it was effectively like battlefield or uh, or uh, freaking or Sons of yeah yeah like uh, like a Brothers in Arms Battlefield Call of Duty game mode that had two uh, unique stories to them. One where it was in the past and that's how you learn how Professor whatever lost his legs. And they then had another story take place in the future or whatever. Like it was something odd like that. I think it was like Professor von Kripplestein. Is that his name? <laughs> I would. You know what? It, it's Conquer. It I, it's Conquer. I would a hundred percent believe that. And oh, thank you, Doug. Yeah. So Chris Marlowe, Chris Shaver, Louise Ridgeway, and Kevin Bayless. Yeah. There you go. Uh, I mean, okay. That feels rather dirty. I mean, I mean go for it, Doug. Honestly, no. uh oh. Speaking of dirty. Oh wait. <laughs> I love how he takes more concern with that and not so much the fact oh shit I killed three cows uh, his last his last remnants of a, any sort of mercy his last bullshitter by the way I looked up the guy's name oh it's either the professor or professor von Kripplespack wow they really did just man yeah. oh like, why did we liquid on the second thought why the hell do we jump in here why do we do these things for money we just go home but money. Easy money, as they say. The fuck is home anymore? So, uh, yeah, that was rather shady, wasn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How about we boost up our confidence in swimming into this yeah. shit? Confidence pills? Oh, boy. Yes. <laughs> confidence pills, we'll call them. <laughs> One tap of this, and... Don't even need water. Yeah. Hey, I feel a lot more confident. If only such a thing existed. I'm pretty sure it does. And then Conquer died of dysentery. Nah, not yet. Infection may smell mold, so. Gonna smell like shit for days now. Yeah, I was about to say, like, after this whole adventure, he's basically just gonna live in a shower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is my home now. Especially, Leave. Especially, especially what's coming up soon. Oh, yeah. He could easily just go home with the money he just got. And not have to do with any of this. I guess that's the thing is I don't th think. How much money have we earned so far? Five hundred. Five hundred dollars. Uh, uh, I was basically wonder, would you guys consider this kind of an idiot plot? Uh, kind of. I mean, again, this is th this game. This game's entire plot is pretty much built off of improv. So, uh, note the air meter on the right. Uh huh. Yeah. And pay very close attention to that lovely face. Effect oh. So effectively, you just want to keep an eye out for uh, how close. Basically, you're, the the closest thing to a meter you got. Also, uh, hey there, bug looks. Oh, he are we drowned. sure this is water? Or I didn't. I didn't know it's you... not water. We, we already <laughs> confirmed that. It's not water, but I was like, wow. Why is it so clear? I was like, wow. I didn't know you could like actually. Uh, I didn't know you could actually see the bull drowning in his own shit. Uh, anyway, basically, <laughs> the, the the closest thing to a meter that you can find <laughs> is how far away the bubbles are from Conqueror's head. That, that really got you, Doug, didn't it? Yes, it did. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> ah, anywho. <laughs> just the just the surreal situations this game puts you in. Now then, uh, how do we get out of here? Simple. We head on straight down. Literally. Down. Into the Nexus. What? Ab it! Uh, oh boy. Uh, what the f- How does any of that work? No clue. Well, I've been better. Uh, Alright, you got your shit. Oh. Where, where'd he go? Oh, hey. Don't Take your shit and get out. I've seen better days. Oh, there he is. Hello. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> You're to it, mate. And how much shit we were able to fill, that's pre it's pretty much a bottomless dispenser at that point. Mm. Perfect. So what do so we do with it? Oh, simple. We roll it around. Like shit. So, it will collect up mass like a snowball and uh, we want it to be... This is the most disgusting calamari I've ever seen. And we want it to be planned. It's a good thing big. he's wearing gloves. Because we're gonna see uh, one of the more one of the more uh, obnoxious goons up ahead. Ooh. A goblin. With a massive spiky ball suit. Indeed. Woo! 
Yeah, if you actually tried to tempt fate while he was still there, he would hound you. But thankfully, he won't be a problem anymore, because he's full of shit. Now he's a walking ball of shit. He's now neutralized. <laughs> now he has a lot of reasons to talk shit. <laughs> However, I want to say that's not, the, that's not the last thing we need to do with that ball. Whoop. Nope, not at all. Though that being said, we'll worry about that second use for it. Beth! Now, because we have one last thing left to do before we call it a session. Right, there are more of those goons in the water, so we'll just do this. Rain the oh, no, oh, no. Rain the, the fishes, the but, but, fish but, but I love this as well. It's like, swim away, oh. swim away. No, dear. Is there a secret down there? Tell my wife she was a gold digger. Nah, no, fuck that. I'm gonna go kiss your wife myself. No, wait, no, 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 no. I'm going to Six Flags. And there you go. And with that said, everybody, uh, the Whirlpool will forever be there, but if we play it smart, we'll never get sucked in. Is yes. there anything down it? Uh, uh death. Yeah, oh, that, that <laughs> is instant death. Room. So, uh... So, uh, yeah, with that all said, over there will lead us to our next major chapter of Conqueror's Bad Fur Day, which we will do another time, because, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, already, it's almost been two hours in. A story for another day. I'm having fun with this, though. Me I am too. as well. Good to... Good to finally get this underway. So, uh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, while we're still at the hub here, once you clear, clear certain sections of a chapter, it'll all be listed here. Say, it, like, if you're not you're not feeling in the mood to uh, bring up a save file and you want to relive those happy memories. <laughs> Wait, so, yeah, it was Windy Farms, right? And, uh... Sewage sucks. Oh, no. And, yeah, the Barn Boys. Slam dunk. And, yeah, that's about all we got so far. So, uh, yeah, on that note, everybody... We'll see you all next time. Later. Take care. Beth.